Now that Scott Disick and Sophia Ritchie have called it quits, there are bound to be plenty of calls for a reunion between Courtney Kardashian and Disick. Since there is already speculation that Kardashian had something to do with Disick and Ritchie's decision to take a break, the support for a reunion will likely be even more intense. On some level, the reaction makes sense. After all, the pair share years of history and three children together. There's no denying that the chemistry between them still sends sparks flying. Many fans, however, are certain a reunion would be a terrible idea. Just because the pair still have chemistry doesn't mean that a relationship would work out any better this time than it has in the past. Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick were on again, off again for years. Kardashian and Disick have been linked since 2006 when they met at a party in Mexico, according to Us Weekly. Since Keeping Up With The Kardashians premiered the very next year, fans got to see the relationship develop on air, giving them an extra investment in the pair's success. By the start of season 2, Kardashian was accusing Disick of cheating, and the pair split. By the next year, they were together again, and the reunion, like the initial breakup, was catalogued on screen. In December 2009, the nature of their relationship changed forever with the addition of son Mason. The next year, Disick punched a mirror in an angry exchange that was once again caught on camera. The pair split and then reconciled. Over the years, they would welcome two more children and have many more tumultuous moments. Most often, the moments of tension centered around Disick's substance abuse issues, which exacerbated when he lost both of his parents within a few months of one another. In July 2015, Disick was spotted partying with several younger women, and the couple called it quits for good. Even though it has been years since Disick and Kardashian were officially together, fans have been watching them co-parent their children through the lens of keeping up with the Kardashians. Long-time fans have seen the many ups and downs of their relationships, and many viewers have grown fond of Disick despite his past missteps. Ultimately, many have arrived at the conclusion that Disick is a good person but not a great boyfriend. Fans like his sense of humor and overall personality. His dedication to his kids has always been a strong point as well and seeing him and Kardashian put aside their differences for the good of their children is inspiring. Fans think it would be a mistake for them to reunite. Obviously, there are plenty of people who see Disick's break from Richie, after three years together, to be an opening for a reunion between Disick and Kardashian. The fact that it would bring their family back together and would also serve as a way to mend the torn relationships that fans have watched appear over the years on the show makes it even more appealing. Explaining why fans are so on board with Kardashian taking Disick back, one commenter wrote, We kinda have history with Scott. He was around from the start. We got to know him. He was entertaining even when he was shitty. We saw him cry, we saw him happy. It was obvious he cared about Courtney. Those two on a good day were hilarious and endearing. Still, many fans recognize that chemistry isn't enough. I don't think either should be together. Scott and Courtney have chemistry but they also have an extensive bad history together that I don't think either can really let go of. When was their relationship good? Before Mason he was cheating, after Mason he was drinking too much. After that Courtney kept him at arm's length and never seemed to forgive him. I think they'd fall into their old patterns and resentments fast," another commenter added. Disick and Kardashian will always be linked by their past and their children, but many who have watched their whole relationship unfold don't think they need to give it another try.